Down in Montgomery, Alabama lawmakers are currently meeting for the last day of the state legislative session. Lawmakers are spending that last day pushing through bills that have been debated and everything pretty much is wrapping up down there in Montgomery. News 19 State Capitol reporter Maddie Beard Temple joins us now live from Montgomery with the latest. Maddie. Meaning there's no limit on the size of the overall tax cut. That's right. I'm here in the House press room where the House just gaveled out not too long ago before six. Lawmakers were out on the floor celebrating the end of what they say was a historic legislative session. Now some of the bills they passed today, one increases pay for poll workers, another creates the crime of chemical endangerment of a first responder, but the the bulk of the legislation that really kind of defined this session has already been decided before today. One of those includes the both the education and general fund budgets were signed by Governor Kay Ivey. They include 2% pay raises for teachers as well as $150 rebates for taxpayers. They've also passed a grocery tax reduction and ended income taxes on overtime pay. Now that's some of what's been done, but there's a lot of bills that have died this session, including one that would have banned the sale of vaping devices to those under 21 years old. Senate sponsor Garland Gudger says it's something he plans to bring back next year. It's been a decision not to pass the bill in haste at the last day because we're wanting to pass that, but making sure we have the correct bill. So we're going to be bringing that, and uh, it will be one of the first bills that I bring up with Representative Barbara Drummond to make sure that it happens for next year. One of his House bills that failed. And, and we expect to hear from House Speaker Nathaniel Ledbetter about his assessment of how this session went not too long. Lawmakers are clearing the House floor, but we plan to hear from some legislative leaders fairly soon, and we'll include that in a fuller story tonight, wrapping up the legislative session. Reporting now live in Montgomery, Maddie Beer Temple, News 19.